We are just a stone's throw away from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as we get set for football at First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. The folks here in Cleveland, even though all the down years, have never stopped supporting their hometown guys, and we got evidence of that a moment ago as the Browns made their entrance. They are ready to do battle with Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons. The shadows starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. That's going to be in. Tackle made by Deidre Sinnott. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. Underneath for Johnson. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. A gain of four on the play, and they're going to have a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Now let's go. Blue lining. Blue lining. Mayfield now. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. But that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 24. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Emmanuel Agba there on the stop. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping... Those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, Freeman. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 
That burst good for 20 and a first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. And it was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. This is Freeman on first and ten. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Ten more there and another first down. So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that in. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Emmanuel Ogba. He's the one to get him, and that's sack number seven for him on the year. So the sack pushes him back, and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. Here's Ryan. And that is incomplete. Jabril Peppers, the former first-round pick there on the coverage. He's second in the NFL in interceptions, and you understand why. He plays the game with great intelligence, understands positioning, and has a great ability to break on the football when it's in the air. So fun to watch his closing speed and another example of it on that play. On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on the punt. Back deep, Jarvis Landry. And just a 30-yard punt that time. And the Browns will take over first and ten. Now the Browns offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. They go with Chubb on second down. Oh, fighting off the defender. And at a 42-yard line here and brought down there. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. This running game so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it. It's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week. And right now, we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. Dumps this to his running back, Chubb. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11-yard pickup. They go play action here on first down. The 20 over the middle and into the hands of his receiver Landry. And he takes it all the way down to the three. A big play that time for Cleveland. 44 yards. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. To me, that's a terrific run on first and goal at the three. They got two yards. I'd line right back up and give it to him again. Back with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Browns with a football to begin quarter number two. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving.
Second and goal from the one. Leopard! Leopard! They come out here no, in the no, no, eye. No, Patriot! Patriot! They'll try and sneak it here. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. Baker Mayfield scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Browns are able to cash in for six. Extra point up and good by Catanzaro. And that makes the score 7-0.